This section is all about users. Most of the time this topic gets neglected, leaving the developers often confused and searching the internet for answers. This section will deal with the most common user management tasks. At the end of the section, we will also expand our order table, include the registered user whose account the order is originating from. That way we can see the order with the associated user. We will start with making a profile section for the users so that they can update their personal information. Then we will make a way to change the password. This section is about doing and putting together everything that we have learned from our previous lessons. Lot to cover here, so let's get started. This video will add a profile page for our users so that they are able to change their personal information. We need a view and an action method for this. Let's see the code. Okay, now I've got two pages side by side. On the right hand side, I have what the profile page is going to look like. Uh, it's going to say update profile. I'm going to have the first name, the last name, email address, and the phone number. And we're going to have an update button upon clicking which it will take us to the post method with all the values there and we will be able to update the user profile information to the database. We have actually taken this from the register an account. So that's the register view and we can simply take this view and modify this one and uh, that will give us the profile page. This is almost the same so we can modify this and adapt it to the profile page. Okay, let's close this for now. In the controller section, we should go to the, actually what we need is a user controller, which we don't have right now. So I'm going to add a controller here. I'm going to say add controller and maybe just MVC controller with read write actions. I'm going to say add, I'm going to say user. I'm going to come at the end and going to add a public method here and call it an I action result type and I will just simply call it profile okay and I will say return a view and this could be HTTP get therefore we can also have another one which is HTTP post which will hopefully receive a user view model which doesn't exist yet I uh, will generate that later but let's call this model okay now we can say that let's go generate the user view model and in in a new file and it's the view model class was created inside the controllers i'm going to move it to the view models folder and if i click that i'm going to fix the namespace rather i'm going to say view models and for the user view model I'm going to bring in this properties for the user view model. I'm going to bring in a code snippet. I'm going to paste this over here and need to bring in the namespace. All right. So I've got the ID. This is the ID of the user. Then I've got the first name, the last name, an email address, which also has the display name, which will be e mail has email address error message, please enter a valid email address. And I'm of course the attributing it with the data type for email address. There is the phone number and there is the roles view model user in roles. So this will give me all the roles the user is going to be in. This will be using throughout the entire section. And there is also is locked out so that we can see if the user is locked out or not. We will make the lockout later on in another video but for now this would be fine for us let's go ahead and make the video we actually need to bring in the namespace for user view model so let's do that and let's go ahead and make the view i'm going to say add view profile empty model and i'm actually not going to use any layout here we're going to add the layout by hand okay now we know that we need the model, so we're going to say model, we'll pack bookstore, view models, and it's user view model. Okay. For the layout, I'm going to bring in this code snippet. Okay. And 
to remove this from entire thing from here and I'm going to bring in this code snippet and let's quickly go through this so I've got the header which says update profile and this this code snippet comes from the registration page uh, you could have a look and it would be pretty similar to that uh, we just uh, copy pasted the extra things that we needed uh, there's the first name there's the last name we have the email and we have the phone number we also have a little span tag here for any message error message so that we can display it here and we have the input which is of type submit and it's an update button and we have some classes here in the layout section we know that there is the admin css for the section in the profile we also need uh, to inject a link for the admin uh, dot sb dash admin css so let's we do this like this here that section we define the admin section and just paste in the code so our profile view is ready now let's go to the user controller and let's annotate this with authorize and say that roles equals to a minimum user and everyone will have a user role but they can have more roles even an admin will have have a user role initially so in order for us to get the user current stored profile we need the user first so we say var user is the user manager now do we have user manager we don't actually so we go up here and we create a constructor use the shortcut ctor and double tab now i can say that please give me the user manager of type site user okay we need to bring in the namespace for both of them and i would say user manager and once again i'm going to see user manager with a underscore at the front and user manager and now it's time to create this user manager i'll ask visual studio to do it for me and that's it now if i come to profile the user manager doesn't show any error so i can say user manager dot users what do i need i need the first instance of the user where x dot email is equals to user dot identity oops it should be capital letter user identity not identities it's the identity dot name okay once i have the user now i can send this to the view and i can say pass new user view model and I can populate the user view model and say id is equals to user dot id and email is equals to user dot email first name is equals to user dot first name last name is equals to user dot last name now there is also phone is equals to user dot phone number okay now let's quickly run this let's log in now if we come here we don't see anything here yet because we haven't added the profile for the user so let's do that let's go to the header of the profile where we have many things based on the authentication so after this where the user's first name is there i'm going to paste in this code which is nothing but just an anchor tag after this line here where we say that the user dot first name i'm going to bring in a code snippet and it's nothing but an anchor tag and the action name is profile and the controller name is user and we have a font awesome little font which is the user alternative font and what it does is it shows a user icon there and then next to that i say the profile let's quickly check how it looks here so if i refresh the page 
Now I have this profile section and if I click on that, it takes me to the profile view, which says that update profile at the top. This is my first name here, my last name there, my email address and the phone number. Now remind you, there is no phone number we have added so far because there was no way to add this before. It wasn't present during the time of registration. Now we can enter the phone number and click update. If we click update now, nothing will really happen because we haven't really implemented the post method yet. So let's go try to see if we can implement the post method. Back in user controller, there I have the post method. I'm going to copy this line from here and paste it here. So as usual, first thing I should check is the model state is valid or not. Dot. If it is valid, then let's get the user first and I could copy this line here. And I'm going to bring in another little code snippet where it says user dot first name is the all right, let's type it in. So now I can modify these values. I can say user dot first name is equals to model dot first name and user dot last name equals to model dot last name. User dot email is equals to model dot email. We also need to user dot normalized email is equals to model dot email dot to upper if we change the email of the user we also have to change the username as well because username is the email for us user dot username is equals to model dot email and user dot normalized username will be model dot email dot to upper we could also do combine these two email and user together in one line and could also do that but this is also right user dot phone number is equals to model dot phone now we have that we need to commit this using the user manager so we say variable result is equals to let's await this one to user manager dot update async and i will send the user for that and of course i can't just await an operation in a method that is not asynchronous so i need to make this async and you know the drill i need to make this task as well all right now it's time to check if the result succeeded or not if it succeeded then congratulations you have successfully updated and i'm going to say view bag view data message successfully updated the profile if not profile update error and if we go to the profile you can see that we already have the view data the message and this will pass it to us if there is any error or success message now let's run this again and this time i would like to add my telephone number one two three four five six seven eight and say update okay it says successfully updated profile now if i simply go back to the landing page and if i come back to my profile again i can see that my phone number is still the same that i after i made the update so fantastic that means the profile is working so in this video we have seen how to create a profile view we have added an action method we have modified the header of the layout page to add profile link and we have tested our profile page and it worked perfectly